Welcome to the Filmic channel. We are thrilled to announce that with the release of Filmic Pro version 6.13 on both iOS and Android, all 12 series iPhones and select Android devices not only support 10-bit capture, but we've updated the cinematographer kit with all new gamma curves, including Log V3, which is designed to deliver the best possible dynamic range and color rendition on mobile. Up until the release of the iPhone 12 series, all iPhones and most Android devices were limited to a color depth or bit depth of 8-bit for video. This means that for each channel of red, green and blue, 256 tonal values or shades of each color could be recorded. If you multiply each channel's total color information, you arrive at the ability to capture just over 16.7 million different colors in 8-bit. With 10-bit video, however, Instead of a max of 256 tonal values possible for each channel of red, green and blue, it increases dramatically to 1024. This results in the ability to capture over 1 billion different colors when filming in 10-bit. Now 10-bit video isn't a guarantee that your footage will look better than 8-bit. In fact, most displays used to consume video are still 8-bit. This means your billion plus colors in 10-bit are reduced to 16.7 million upon playback anyway, and it still looks great. Two of the main reasons to shoot in 10-bit is because you plan to shoot in log, in which case the smoother color gradation is key to getting the best possible dynamic range, and if you intend to heavily grade your video in post, which is usually why filmmakers shoot in log. This is where all that extra color information allows you to push and pull your footage well beyond what's possible with 8-bit video. To give you an example of this, in DaVinci Resolve, I have the same scene filmed on the iPhone 12 Pro Max in Filmic Pro in both 8-bit and 10-bit. Let's start with the 8-bit footage and see how many saturation nodes we can apply and max out before our footage starts to break apart. Next, let's do the same with our 10-bit footage. As you can see, at the point that our 8-bit video was totally destroyed, the 10-bit video is still holding it together thanks to the huge amount of additional color information in the clip. With 10-bit in Filmic Pro, you'll be capturing greater shadow detail, superior color representation and natural gradation, and when used in conjunction with Log V3, the maximum dynamic range your device is capable of. To enable 10-bit in Filmic Pro 6.13 on 12 series iPhones, open Settings, Resolution, and scroll to the bottom where you'll find a new stepper. Here you can select between 10-bit SDR, 8-bit SDR, and Dolby Vision HDR. Dolby Vision HDR is also 10-bit, but it generates a baked-in look that's not well suited to grading, is incompatible with the cinematographer kit gamma curves, and can only be consumed on a Dolby Vision capable HDR display such as the iPhone 12. On 10-bit capable Android devices, you'll find a 10-bit toggle in the same location if the device makes this available to Filmic Pro. Now, with 10-bit SDR selected, if you've purchased the cinematographer kit optional in-app purchase, under the gamma panel, you'll find a whole new suite of curves fully optimized for 10-bit capture. Linear replaces dynamic, HLG replaces flat, and Log V3 replaces Log V2, but only when in 10-bit mode. If you return to 8-bit, you'll get Log V2 back. If you're curious whether there's much of a difference between the 8-bit and 10-bit curves, here is an 8-bit natural on the left and 10-bit natural on the right. Next, we have 8-bit dynamic on the left and 10-bit linear on the right. And here is 8-bit flat on the left and 10-bit HLG on the right. And of course, the one everyone wants to see, we have 8-bit log v2 on the left and 10-bit log v3 on the right. And the difference is pretty obvious, log v3 is much flatter and less saturated than log v2. 10-bit also uses a higher bitrate in Filmic Pro. You can expect 150 megabits when shooting in 10-bit log v3, versus about 120 megabits in 8-bit log v2. Another nice new feature in version 6.13 of Filmic Pro is that your color bit depth is now displayed not only in the gamma panel up in the corner, 
but also in the Filmic Library. If you browse through your library, you can now quickly identify whether your clips were captured in 8-bit, 10-bit, or Dolby Vision HDR. To accompany the release of Log V3 for 10-bit video, we've also released a D-Log V3 LUT which is freely available on our website. This is a great place to start if you're not confident to grade log footage from scratch and is compatible with LumaFusion on iOS or your NLE of choice on macOS or Windows. With just a single tap or click, you can normalize your log v3 footage to Rec. 709 and then make adjustments from there. Another way to get great results with log v3 is using an X-Rite Color Checker Passport video. We've linked to a really excellent in-depth tutorial by Richard Lackey in the top corner on how to use this in DaVinci Resolve with Filmic Shop footage. DaVinci Resolve also supports an automated correction using the Color Match tool that can do a good job with the Color Checker Passport video and Log V3. Just line up the color chart overlay and choose Rec. 2100 HLG as your source gamma and click Match. So that's what's new in V6.13 of Filmic Pro and we are really curious to hear your thoughts and of course to see what you create with it. Please tag us on social and show your 10-bit Log V3 creations with us, we'd love to see them. Thanks a lot for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe for more.